It's Costco time! Hello my friends, welcome if you're new and if you're already a subscriber, thanks for coming back, girl. So let's talk about our January money savings challenge, which was the grocery savings challenge. Um, for the month of, of January, I literally cut my grocery bill in half. I talked about it in detail on my other channel called Moms and Money, which if you haven't um, watched or subscribed, you can tap this eye right here to learn more about it. But girl, I did amazing. I have $133 left from the month of January. Now I know this is being um, uploaded in February, but this is like, what I had left over for the whole month for the end of January. So I'm going to Costco to kind of re-up on some of the things that I need to um, restock, you know, some of my staples. Now, on my other channel, Moms and Money, I just talked about like some of the biggest learning lessons that I learned from this. I mean, it was definitely eye-opening for me. I just did not realize how much money I was spending on little luxuries that just eat up your, your grocery budget. So. Um, I'm going to share with you today what I plan on getting with my $133 and I'm also going to share with you the Costco flyer. Sorry, we accidentally spilled coffee on it, but this um, starts on February 5th. Um, they didn't really have anything in here that was making me like want to wait until February 5th um, that I needed. Again, Costco has a way of... <laughs> of encouraging you to think that you need some of these things because they're on sale but you really don't so i've been working hard on just not up and buying things just to be buying them um i do need some dawn i was hoping the dawn um dish liquid would be on sale but it doesn't look like it is but i'll have to see how much it is when i get in there i can't remember uh yeah so that's it really for the flyer here is my list. Now I, because I'm a long time Costco shopper, I wrote down how much each of these things cost. I put a question mark on the dumb because I cannot remember. I don't buy that often. I can't remember how much it is, but everything else that's around how much it is. I added everything up except for the Don and it came to 123.12. That's with the 8% sales tax that we have to pay. So I have $133. I'm going to take my list with me. I cannot go off of this list. I just can't <laughs> just it's just gonna be a heck no you know um we can't I, i'm hoping that the prices are still the same but let's get into costco and see what they got also i'm taking my cash envelope i have 140 dollars actually 141 dollars in here but again i am not going over the 133 um these are this is just the cash that i had i'm going to be doing a full video about how i've been using my cash envelopes i absolutely love these cash envelopes i literally just take this into the store I can bend it. Um, I don't need my wallet into the store, so I'm not tempted to use my credit card. I will be selling these very soon, actually this week. So if you're interested in, in learning more about them, um, there's a link in the description box. Sign up for free so that I can notify you as soon as they go live on my site. So yeah, I got my cash. Let's get to Costco. This decorative pod, body pillow, $5 off for $9.99. I would love a good body pillow to sleep with. I feel like I would sleep with this though, but the material feels like it would be really hot. Yeah. They're cute though for $9.99. Listen, we're gonna do a light brows today, girls. A light brows because listen, sometimes these browses will get you in trouble. Okay, so we're gonna do light, light brows today. Let's see what they have. I used to use Vega's plant-based um, protein smoothie. $29.99. $23.99 for this one. Head and shoulders, okay. Right. Jumbo Cactus Water Moisturizer. The packaging makes me feel like this is some good stuff. Is it Boschia? I don't know if I'm even saying this right. It's $29.99 though, girl. Ooh, talk about a luxury. Tightening neck and decollete. Oh, I'm horrible at this. Whoa, $64.99. This must be some really good stuff then. All right, of course they have the CeraVe, $19.99, I like that. Let's see. Look at this Extreme Steam. It's nice. $39.99. Has an asterisk, so that means they're not gonna get any more. 
I don't even know why. Why am I looking down here, friends? Why? Why? These are kind of cute. These men's sneakers. They're only $19.99. Puma. They're cute. And then they have the women's for $19.99. I don't like the women's as much. Girl, look at how much that little luxury is. The Pike Place K cups are $36.99. Is that not crazy? I love the colors on here, on these back mats. They're pretty, right? I just did a deep, deep clean with me, um, whole house clean with me on my channel not too long ago. You can tap this eye right here to watch it. Um, and I want to redo my whole bathroom and get like the same color mats. Cause see, I've bought some mats before from from um, Costco and just threw them on the floor. My bathroom's pretty big, so we give a fit multiple. Um, mats, but it would be nice to have one color. I really, really like this color. They only have one though. Oh, are those pillows? Oh, let's see. Deco pillows are $16.99. I don't have any more of this color. This is a color that I like. What am I doing? I'm not buying this right now. It's $14.99. Get out of here. No, ma'am. Let me see these pillows. It says family, love, home, hope. Oh, yeah, home, hope. I like this blue. I'm just so drawn to blue right now. See, my my problem when it comes to decorating is I'm afraid that I like only like the trends. Like, why am I drawn to blue? I mean, I love blue. It's always been one of my favorite colors, but yeah, yeah. is it trendy right now? And that's why I'm so drawn to it because that's all I see in the stores. It's like, how do you develop a, you know, classic design aesthetic? Because you don't want to have to be redecorating your house every 10 years. You see what I'm saying? Just because it's in style now. I don't know, girl. It's just, it's just too much right now. This lamp is so pretty. It's a two-pack. Is it a two-pack? No, I think it's just one. It is $49.99, but it's really pretty. I like it a lot. I think it would look good in my office. I don't know. I'm just throwing ideas out there right now. I think this is the two pack and it is $79.99. It's a little bit darker. They still have all the furniture out. Really nice quality furniture. Real wood. Let's see. I'm going to go look at the rugs really quick. They look kind of small. They had like a bigger selection of rugs. Oh, this one's pretty. Like that. Let's see. Mm. And indoor outdoor rugs. Oh, this kitchen rugs would be nice. Let's see. Kitchen and dining, laundry, or foyer. Oh, I see. They're kind of short here. It's nice, right? I like this blue. It's really pretty. There I am, drawing the blue again. Okay. I gotta focus. I got only a certain amount of time. Both of my girls are homesick. I gotta focus. Okay, I'm going to add the apples because I know that wasn't on my original list, but Ava really likes these apples a lot. And Zara sometimes eats them, so I'm just going to get some. Hopefully it's in the budget though. We'll have to see. They don't have many chicken tenderloins left and they're all pretty expensive. say no then and come back for that. I do have two of these packs left so I'll have enough for the month because one of these packs can feed my family for two nights. And some more cheese. The Mrs. Myers is back and this time they have three different scents. The basil, lemon, verbena, and lavender. I really like the basil the best. I don't really care for either of these but it's $13.99 for three. Now I want to say at Target they're like $4.99 but sometimes you can catch them for a dollar off at $3.99. Um, so you might want to just wait for a sale. Plus you can buy them directly from the Mrs. Myers website I believe. I can't remember how much they are but if you want a, a particular scent you can buy them from the Mrs. Myers website. I'm happy to the re report that the price of milk has gone back down to $2.98. If you remember last time I was here it was or maybe it was two times before that. It was like three something and it really irritated me. I'm like, why is it so expensive? Anyway, it's back to $2.98. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some milk. Eggs are here, $3.39. I've been spot on with my prices so far, except for the chicken tenderloins. I, I didn't expect $25. I was only expecting to pay $20, but 
Let me pick some eggs out. Okay, the Dawn is not on sale. It's $9.99. But since I'm not getting the chicken, I'm going to go ahead and get this. Because, um, again, I'll have enough to get me through um, between my shrimp. We have one pack of ground beef and then those two packs of sh um, chicken. I'll have enough to get me through the month. Fingers crossed. But I'll probably be back to Costco in two more weeks. But um, I did want to mention that. Haven't you guys ever tried this Ultra Sign? Um, uh, dish liquid soap um, the Costco brand for $7.99 I tried it we absolutely hated it it was horrible so I immediately came back to what I know which is Dawn because Dawn really gets the job done so I'm gonna get some of this and also so for years I'm talking years we've used the same laundry detergent from here it's called Ecos I liked it it had no formaldehyde in it it was cheaper than Tide it didn't have all the toxic stuff so they said I'm um, like Tide has it $13.49 here it is right so get this I get on the website there's a website I think it's EWG EG or something like that where it's like uh, an environmental website it tells you like how toxic the stuff that you use is to your skin if it causes cancer allergens if it's good for the environment stuff like that right so they grade products between A and D or F or something like that girl guess what Ecos had I was so upset a D plus a D plus I said what I had no idea I was just looking at the label like it's a safer choice it's I said it used to say no for formaldehyde in it but I noticed they changed their packaging and after they changed their packaging it no longer said no formaldehyde in it so first of all it got the same rating as Tide did and that just really bothered me and it made me feel like okay I gotta do my research and find another laundry detergent. Now before somebody comments and says, oh, just make your own, just make your own. Bro, making your own is just not for me. I just, yeah. I struggle with even trying to make my own cleaning products even though I'm trying to get there, but the laundry detergent, I, I need to just be able to buy that. So I have been, now the method laundry detergent, I feel like their score was better. It was like either a B or a C or something like that. So maybe I'll try using that for a little bit. Of course, it's more expensive. You don't get as much, but um, I was just really upset by that. So leave a comment down below and let me know. What do you use for your laundry detergent? We do have um, high efficiency machines. So if that makes a difference, let me know what you use. Look at this indoor outdoor angled broom. It doesn't have a price on it though. Um, it looks like they don't have any more cedar. Oh, cedar mops here. Um, I bought my, in the my last Sunday setup video. I can't remember. I don't, I don't even know what week we're in, but in one of my Sunday setup videos, someone asked where I got my mop. I love my OCR mop. Love it. It makes me really excited to mop. I bought it from here at Costco because you get the extra mop heads when you buy it from here. It's about the same price, but again, you get the extra mop heads as opposed to buying it at like Target. But I have seen similar mops at Aldi. So if you can find it at Aldi, it'd probably be a good deal as well. Um, but I love that mop, but I don't see any here though. So, but if you catch it at your Costco, it's definitely worth it. This queso dip is so, so good. It's $7.99. But if you go to like Publix or Kroger, it's like $5 or $6 for one. So you get two for $7.99. So this is great for taco night, nacho night, whatever. I'm not gonna get it this time, but maybe next time. They changed the packaging of my chicken meatballs. I was looking all over for it and I couldn't find it, but I see here that they changed the, the packaging. I hope the box container isn't smaller or something. But this is what I get. I love these, keep these in my freezer for a quick, easy meal, $14.89. Had to walk all the way over here because I forgot I needed broccoli. I like using the fresh broccoli as opposed to the frozen broccoli. It holds well in my fridge and I saute it in like butter and oil olive oil, salt and pepper and garlic. My kids, everybody really likes it. So I'm gonna get another pack of these. It's $4.99. Oh girl, I gotta keep my tally up. Let's see. Wow, look how cheap the strawberries were. I was gonna get it when I go to Aldi this week, but they're super cheap. Now they're not organic. And I typically get the organic strawberries for that price at Aldi. And it's a much smaller container. Let's see. Have organic raspberries, that's expensive. Look at how much the organic strawberries are. Girl, I, I used to get the ruffles from here for $5.49, but I'm just going to get it from Aldi because they're like $1.50 for a regular size bag, but I can get literally two regular, two or even three regular size bags, um, you know, before I get this, before I hit this price. So I'm just going to wait and go to Aldi for it. Need more waffles, $9.99.
I gotta go back to my love, which is this Applewood smoked bacon. Because, let's see, that was 15.69. Let me go ahead and add that in before I forget. But let's talk about the Aldi bacon. Girl, that Aldi bacon was so nasty. I don't, to, to us, I mean, it was just nasty. Um, after you get used to this Applewood smoked bacon, I'm telling you, this is like the Lamborghini of bacon. It's hard to go back. So girl, since we spent less this month, now granted, I used to buy that bacon every two weeks, but I had to tell my family, listen, this whole pack here will have to last us the whole month. That's just, y'all stop being greedy and stop eating so much bacon. But I just had to feed, uh, squeeze it in because it just, the other bacon just wasn't good. This, the yogurt squeeze packs are on sale. Ava loves these. Last time I got them though, she did not eat them all before they turned bad. But she's been asking for them. $6.49, should I get them? I don't know. Okay, I'm not gonna get them because the latest date that they expire is March 6th. I know for a fact Ava is not going to eat all of them by March 6th. She's the only one that eats these. So I'd just be better off just getting her some sort of organic um, yogurt at Kroger or something. I suppose this, even though that's a really good deal, if both of them ate it, I would absolutely get it, but Sarah doesn't eat it, so. Whoa, the carrot cold butter jumped up by a dollar. Actually, two dollars, it used to be 10.99. Then it creeped up to like 11 something, and now it's 12.99? Dang. I got to though, because I just love it so much. Here's a little fun fact about the bread here at my Costco. Now, my bread, they used to sell it all the way over on the other side of the store by where the new cooler is, where like the strawberries are and stuff. Um, and the bakery, by the Fresh Bakery, they used to sell the regular bread there. So one day when I was there, this was years ago before I even started my channel, I was getting ready to get my bread. All of a sudden, I looked down at my foot. Girl, don't you know a mouse crawled up over my shoe? And I screamed. I was like, oh my gosh, there's a mouse. It freaked me out. I didn't buy the bread for a while from Costco. Um, but since then, they've moved it over here to this side of the warehouse. And I always buy my loaf on the very top. Because <laughs> I just don't know. I mean, it, the, the mouse was not on the bread, but it, he, the mouse just came out from underneath the bread and just over my foot. Girl. Talk about a scream. <laughs> I was just like, get me the heck out of here, please. Reese the Organic Maple Syrup has come back down. At one point it was $11.99, now it's back down to $10.79. This is what my girls use for their egos and stuff. Girl, why are the Hawaiian rolls so high? $5.59? They used to be $4.98. I'm gonna get them because my kids love them so much. And this is the best price to get a big pack. I always look at the date though. And they freeze really well. Love this vinegar. I primarily use it as a fabric softener for our clothes, like towels, dish rags, our sheets, or anything that I don't want to send to it. I do have the method or the Mrs. Myers fabric softener that I use for our clothes, just for the smell of it. <laughs> but it's only $2.99 for this large bottle. I am gonna start trying to make my own home cleaner. I don't particularly like the smell of vinegar, but I know it works and I know it's natural. So I was thinking about just adding some um, essential oils to it. So anyway, $2.99. So my grand total so far is about $1.12. Very proud of myself. It helps to not get the chicken though. <laughs> Um, so I have like 20 bucks left and I don't know if I should, well actually now that I'm thinking about it, wait, with tax it'll be over 133 if I try to get the ground beef, right? Yeah, it would. Alright, so I'm going to get some more avocado oil because we are all out. I have a, like a half a bottle of um, olive oil left, but I really like avocado oil um, for other things. To make so I'm gonna get some and it's 940 now. Gosh y'all I'm bright on the money. I added the eight percent sales tax. Alright, let's see how we how it goes when we bring it unless I forgot something. I'm hoping I didn't. So I'll be really embarrassed. Alright y'all so I'm back home. Let me quickly show you what I got. Got some broccoli the uh chicken meatballs love these quick and easy meal box of egos they were $9.99 bread Hawaiian rolls some apples some organic maple syrup, some avocado oil, the Dawn dish liquid that we need, some vinegar, milk, heavy cream. Oh, this I got from Target, the coconut milk. That's separate. Carry cold butter, bacon, cheese, and eggs. 
So comment down below and let me know, do you think I made it? Do you think I made it, sis? Do you have faith in your girl? Guess what? I spent a grand total of $125.07. What? $125.07. So that leaves me, so for the whole month of um, January, we spent $392, if my math is right, and some change dollars worth of groceries. Y'all, that's probably the least I've ever spent on groceries before in my life. And I cooked way more than I typically do. We didn't eat out like that. <sighs> this has been a game changer. But I do feel like I got a lot of things. You see how quickly, I'm starting to just see how quickly this stuff just adds up at Costco. Everything's in big bulk and it's expensive. And you just have to really, you know, choose what you're gonna buy when you're gonna buy it you know what i mean um some of the things like i said i didn't want to compromise on like some of the meats that we get from costco you know totally let go of getting the apple juice from costco and i totally let go of getting the k-cups from costco that right there is forty dollars right there and then you have to be careful with the, you know, just browsing the store. So I'm really, really happy. I'm ready for February. I'm going to continue on uh, February doing this. If you did not see what our February um, money savings challenge is, go check that out. Um, we're gonna do another savings challenge for February, but we're also gonna try to continue to do the $100 per person per month. Um, um, for groceries just to keep our budget low just because think about how much money that you'll be able to save for the whole year I know for us personally it's like close to three grand that's a lot so I mean that's a vacation right there so anyway leave a comment down below let me know how did you do this month with your grocery shopping were you able to save a little bit um, what do you think the issue was if you weren't so leave a comment down below and let me know thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet you can tap my picture up above and you can also check out my previous video right over here and all of my social media platforms all listed down below thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video bye